how are y'all doing uh all right i know mazda mitch already made the video of the uh miata 130 amp outnator swap he beat me to that but i got that same swap in here i just wanted to uh give you all some pointers as well this this post right here on usually it's pointed this way and this little dimple right here holds it in place there's like a little finger on the back of this post what i do is you can actually take this little black cop off of here and there's another 10 millimeter nut and uh you can't actually put your wire your your power wire on that post because that that little post is actually skinnier than this one this is a six millimeter thread uh i don't know what size but uh well that's the size i think six millimeter i don't know what the pitch is but this post is actually skinnier than that so you can't actually use it but what i do is i take this little post off you can take you, this plastic piece you can take that nut off and take this off and there's a finger in the back that holds it in place here what i do is i grind that little finger off that way i can uh reinstall this cloth up so that, I, so that my uh, power cable can reach and i don't have to mess with it or stretch it out or nothing like that and another thing that I did is I, uh, I, I deleted my, my fan. I got an electric fan and I got a shorter belt on Amazon as well, just straight to my alternator. And uh, this plug, you can actually buy it. Let's see, look, this is it right here. I actually bought this on Amazon. Uh, let me see. Almost new sells them on Amazon. It's like seven dollars. We can buy those brand new because this one is already all broken, but it's, it's the exact same thing. Let's see, these are like universal; they're used on a lot of uh, applications. So I just thought I'd tell you that. And another thing on this Miata alternator, I had to do is this bolt on the Mazda B2200 is actually they're clocked differently. So on these, sometimes you got to grind. I had to grind on the casing to get the bracket to sit on there right. And uh, all I did is just take this bolt out and grind the top of that, and then. Uh, just uh, reinstall it and try it out until it fit and I could slide it on there smoothly. But uh, when you do do that, make sure to cover up all these holes with, with tape just so that no uh, shavings go in there, tape everything off. So I just thought I'd share that with y'all as well. And uh, Mazda Mitch already made a great video on the swap, so uh, just thought I'd let y'all know on that.